Hello YouTube, Rocky here again. This is take number six for this damn video. Hello, who am I? Somebody please. Come on, somebody must know. Uh, wife driving down another car boot seal at the crack of dawn. So I've got some buys. So let's have a look, shall we? First thing is a couple of PS1 games. CNC rear alert. Absolutely fantastic condition. Just couldn't even mark manuals there. It's great condition. I'm most happy with that. And here you go too. That was a quid. There's no manual, but the disc good nick. I'm quite fancy this actually, so I'll show that. Next thing is from a local hospice charity stall. One of those wee plug in Mega Drive things. No batteries in it, but I have put some in and it does work, so a couple of pounds for a charity shop from the charity stall. I'm quite happy for that. Uh, next thing is a very interesting find. I see this bag. At the corner of my eye, with the PlayStation logo on it. So I thought, hmm, this opens it up. What's in it? Well, surprise, surprise, not PlayStation. I have. This is the first time I've actually properly looked in here. Um, so. Let's see exactly what state everything's in. Cases are all in ridiculously bad condition, but hey ho. Well, I'll show you what was in the, else in the bag first up rather than the games. Dreamcast. With UEFA Striker Soccer in the keys. So, Dreamcast in there. Uh, bag's also got two controllers, both official. Yay! Hey. Uh, one's got a VMU in it, bit dirty, needs a clean. There's a big power cable and a huge length of telephone cable extender. Okay. And some more random discs. That lot, including the lovely bag here, was a tenner. Let's have a look through for you. Oh, some lovely printed copy disc, CD loader 1.1, Evolution, uh, I have no idea, Dreamcast, Resident Evil Quiver Veronica, 1 discs 1 and 2, they're all copies. Somebody's got the trouble of printing labels on. I think they were market buys. Uh, back when the Dreamcast was first released, you used to go to like Sunday markets and there'd be stalls of unstall of copied Dreamcast games and PS1 games. So there's a bit of a case we're ready to rumble. So what have they got? So it's crazy taxi. Um yeah cases are ridiculously bad night but the discs in there. So caliber half a case. Discs are okay. I think the guy says oh those games are only worth thirty pound. Yeah, you know they're not. Dream Key, with the Dream Key in it. Monaco Grand Prix Racing Simulation 2. Hits 52! Two. See these packed with hits. Let's have a copies of course. Dream On Volume 1. Right, something like that. So now I have a Soul Culver's case. Ready to unbox boxing with this. Oh, House of the Dead 2. Nice. That's quite a good game. Looks fine. Sega Rally. Sorry about that. Got the family here. Sega Rally. Let's have a case for it. Racing Simulation Monaco Grand Prix with the 40 quid sticker on it. Keys in there. Uh, UEFA Striker Soccer. Yeah. So, I love my tenner. I'll clean it up and see if it works. Just the game's low worth about that. And the last thing I bought, well, this will take a bit of explaining. Dell 19 inch flat panel monitor. But why, here you ask? Why not did you use that great one you bought yesterday? 
Because one of the S3 doesn't bloody work. It's broken beyond belief of broken. It's not a little bit broken, it's very broken. Because my looks perfect, but the actual panel or the, or the decoder is completely gone. I don't get any signal at all. I don't even get the on screen menus. And it's, when you power it up, there's lines go across it. So I think that's knackered. Fantastic. However, after I finished yesterday's video, I did discover that there was another bag I'd forgotten about with a Sega mains adapter. So well, at least one of my new Mega Drives has a power adapter. So that's what I picked up from the car books today. I'm going to have to stay away from them for a while, I was going to end up penniless. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.